<laughs> Welcome back to shambling around southern Europe and Middle East and places where we need to go. Right, so let's check who can we deal with. Ooh. Oh yes, and you're still weak from the last time we, we went toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Especially since they are financially kind of weak. So we got these claims here. But they don't seem to be anything that we're interested in. So we're going to go for uh, de jour, duchy or county. Sadly, these are all bits and pieces. That's a, that's a big annoyance. So uh, the only upside of this, the only real positive is that we can just go back county. Uh, claim we don't need to go for the For the duchy claims So we'll box this in by taking this bit uh, This will be a costly war For very small payoff. However, we have the advantage insofar they need to come to us to contend our claim so we will raise our troops here and again wait for, I would say, 10,000 troops. Why is this going to zero immediately? It's interesting. Okay, we're going to go to up to minus 20, not further. That should be like 10,000. <clears throat> yeah, that's it. All she wrote for the moment. So we'll set them together. Take this first, then retreat to here. Because we expect him to do the same thing he did last time. Landing, take it, and then kind of scurry away again. Or rather, blob all over here. And he'll come with his whole army. So we'll need to... Be on constant vigilance, and one of these boys. Oh no, we stood. Mm, yeah, we stood down the Onaga to buy some trebuchets, which we didn't get around to yet. Mangonels, like, excuse me. So we'll increase this a little bit until we like at a thousand. That's okay. And now we move this whole army just down here. We do have this, uh, ow. Okay, that's not, it's a bit, of, uh, that's bad. Okay, let's, let's try and take care of this. We only have daughters, so we need to go down the line here and find anyone Potentially having an alliance for us, but it doesn't look good. That is one alliance. They are, however, like the weakest there is. So that's not going to do much of an impact. Why do you not have anyone to... <clears throat> Princess, princess, prince. Alright, we'll get a holy order involved instantly. One that costs us nothing. They will, of course, only help in this war. So we want to finish this. Quick-ish. One more daughter. That is... No. Yes, claims. That doesn't give us an alliance in the right direction. <clears throat> That's a big one again. Very unfortunate. Too many girls in this world. That's one. This. Take at least one out. Doesn't... Don't 
fully under nah there we go now we got them okay let's check we have anyone we can prison here <clears throat> don't think we do okay, this one hates us very much I did start a murder scheme on the lady who killed our dear papa <clears throat> There come oh thirty thousand. Okay, that's a bit more than I expected. We'll raise everything else here now. Again, I'm expecting him to kind of blob out, spread to make sure that he doesn't go over the support limit. Once this army is back on the ship, we might even attack immediately. That's a good, that's a good move. Because he's going to consolidate, this army is going to be weakened. By just having come off the ship. Wait, will it still be a good play? Who's leading this? <clears throat> We could lead this. Should we lead this? Could reduce the enemy defensive advantage. But we already have that. But we could upgrade a little bit. Holy warrior and defensive. We want this dude. Wherever is he? There. So this might not be a good idea. We are abandoning this plan, for the moment anyway. And this is dry lands. We get some more mercenaries, just in case. They're very expensive though. What is he bringing? You have 22,000, so something is off here. Why do you have 30,000? What is this? Oh, that's a lot of camels. What do camels counter? Arches. The mercenaries we would have wouldn't even be good enough. He'll attack us. We will immediately move all further armies down here. Resupply this. Don't have anyone with the defensive advantage, it doesn't look like. And while we while we give a bonus. As the leader of the land, pretty much. I'm not sure if it's going to be enough. To tip the scales of this particular battle. So he's getting one big chunk of reinforcements, but they're already down. Quite a bit. Someone replaced us as culture head. Come on, guys. Just walk. Alright, okay, we need to press the advantage here. No more dilly-dallying. We need to just completely obliterate them. Spymaster dead. New Spymaster, ahoy. We have befriend scheme with anyone? Can we do it? No. Could sway people though. Check this again. Sway her. 
kind of work against the problems we're looking at here. But oh, lucky for us, it doesn't actually flee into a straight crossing. And the army is split, so we might catch a piece. Uh, now we're catching just these two th 200 there that are slowing us down. And he's down to 15,000, which I assume is down to financial issues. Yep. So we could also lose like 10,000. Let's find a court physician. Ah, uh, we have this, so... Title creation costs 20% less, don't really need it. And propose an alliance without marriage, that's a good thing. Right now, looking at these pools here. Let the game catch up real quick. what they will do. Will they stay and fight taking the advantage of our straight crossing? No. Right. Uh, since we are bleeding money hard as well now, I'm gonna split off a good amount of levies. Ah, uh, not the armored horseman, thanks. Not the pikeman. Oh god. This annoys me. Why does this jump back all the time? Come on. I just want to kick a bunch of levies out. Ugh, this will take a while. I'm just gonna open up my mouse wheel. This is not sensible. But I think we want to go to 20,000 or so. Kick the bigger bits. The small fry. Boom. This army goes back over here. Because at the current rate of gold loss, we only have like 10 months. Okay, we could potentially borrow some gold. That is definitely good. But we have increased it, and if we take more land, we will also increase our gold through conquest. And I think we can split again, because we have... this so we take these guys here and these guys we bring there okay what the hell is wrong why can't we find a good person there Um... No. Make you my court physician. Where's the option? There. You. Ten gold is a steal. Okay, so they're getting back over to attack our holding again. But he's hard on the money down spiral. 
which makes all his troops way less effective. Yeah. Try and murder her. Ah, we outlived a child now. Giving us a younger heir. But we've also had a new son. So the lady noticed. Uh, let's check the factions again. No. Oh. Ah, there we go. Oh, ideal. How big is the difference? Six versus twelve percent. So definitely this guy. So we take the youngest. It's not. It's not super good, but something. Managed grief, become a confider with a wife. Sure, we'll do that. Confider is the least worst of these. Can I demand conversion from him? No. Otherwise, I would have taken the hook. So he's sailing here to land here again. And he has somehow managed to increase how many troops he has. Do not get it. Where does he get these troops? Holy orders. 7,000. That's where they, they are coming from. So we finish these sieges. How does he have a 7,000 holy order? My god. Is he? Oh, we could also have a 7,000 holy order. But which ship we take the free one? These guys can already start walking back. These guys can also start walking back. I know he'll retake this area, but that only means he needs to redeploy down here. Taking this, so we can just walk up there, take that again. Maybe take both bit, both bits, both both bits. This time, and potentially force a fight as well. Six smallpox victims at court. So they're taking this back, which probably means immediate troop movement. Yeah, it does. Will he come toward us is the big question. We can always white piece out. I, I, I would like to prevent it. But white piece is definitely an option for us. I don't think we're going to hit an army. But they're splitting there in a weird manner. Let's just situate ourselves here. And then attack them down there. Yeah, okay. A new opponent. Okay, we could end the war because the leader on the other side has changed, but for us, nothing has. So we'll continue the fight. And we got a very lucky break right now. And we'll let them come fighting us. Are you hostile? Yes, okay, these are only hostile anymore. And we can do this. Very good. Monthly diplomacy lifestyle experience plus 10%. Yes, thank you. So how much troops are left? 14,000. Okay, that means we can uh, average down a little bit.
Good idea. Almost at 10 month. So let's... Uh, let's make sure though. He has 14,000. 6,000 that you can raise. Or is raising. Raising up here. Well, they put their headquarters there. That's good for us. Okay, I think we're gonna kick out a few. No, not the hired soldiers. Sorry, those stay. Let's kick out a few more levies here. In the top rung. What are these? These are from my domain? 4,000? It's a decent number. Let's get these back in. Select just these. Send them home. Let's send these down. Maybe these are also the most expensive ones. Right, now we take this to earn some more money. Go here. Those were actually not the most expensive ones. That's that's curious. They cost barely anything. So who's producing this cost here? The men at arms. However, why ever would that be? We can, of course, reduce these down a little bit. That would be an, uh, an option. These cost us nothing. Okay. Let's raise all these again. And let's kick out all the current levies. Uh, no. God. These buttons make no sense to me. I mean, they're kind of easy, but... My brain just doesn't want to. It's a very interesting war right now. Would have been too easy. Wouldn't have been. Oh my god, those are way too many. Why can't they just go from the bottom up? My goodness. Oh, we just need to kick out 4,000 or so. So we're almost there. Enough whining. More dining. These are... 4,000 is what I want. So we want the hundreds here. Those are most important to go. And one more. One more 100. There we go. Select this army. Move it over here. Stand it down and hopefully save some money. Yep, that did the trick. We also 100% need to reduce our attrition there. Okay, I think... We have gotten enough troops going. Okay, we'll just pop off the defenders here, uh, the besiegers, and move the rest out there to go and resupply. Again, he has to come to us. There's really not much he can do. These in half. This army. They're taking on supplies again. We lost our marshal. 
put a new marshal in. Go reduce maintenance cost. Where is he? Kind of just whomping around up there. Okay, we want to check for supplies. That's really what we need. We have averaged down very well for the army that we have. I wish we had more control in raising our troops instantly. We don't even need to take troops we later don't really want. Alright. So the enemy approaches. Which is good for us. We bring everyone together. And assault them. Right there on our beach. Well, our future beach. Right now it's still their beach. At least that's what they think. We will teach them. Let's teach them. Give them a teach about the beach. Very good. Yes, the 7,000 coming off the ship are immediately engaged with us. That's a good split for armies. We are being very fortunate here, and that's a win. Alright, yeah, that, that was a bit of resource management here uh, in a war. I, we didn't have to do this until now. Quite honestly, it never really mattered much. Uh, but trying to manage our income and cash flow against the availability of resources, against the territory we're fighting, and we didn't really make much use of it defensively. That mattered way more in Crusader Kings 2, I feel. Um, but you also don't want to fight in unfavorable terrain. Uh, so I really like the, the battle prediction that helps pick your fights and you don't run into into issues all that often uh yeah but that's quite interesting okay so our oh we we personally are free to marry uh let's see can we get an alliance out of this maybe this boy here he's really unhappy come on uh you got no one for me you got people for me but no one good okay let's finish this up with finding a new bride and we wish to find fifteen years fertile, yes, traits inheritable. Now we go by alliance power, and we see that well, we would like someone younger. Marriage of Carnum. We could get a few alliances going here. Of the four, no one really springs out in terms of military power. How many troops do you have? Why can't I see it here? There, yeah, 4,000. That's a bit of a ladder we have to climb here to see, but 3,000. And how many have you got? I mean, this is already ordered by Alliance Power, so I would assume this one is the strongest. I'll just go for this. Curing ourselves some Mali. With which I said some Mali, not so Mali, just so we're clear. And now we will sit on our... Oh, look. Bulgaria broke, did they? Uh, there. Did you did you shrink? No. That kind of feels like we shrunk. Militarily speaking, we're not up to scratch. Oh, okay. We are also down in levies quite a bit. Probably should put our boy on that. Bigger levy size and reinforcement rate. Sounds like a good plan. Who? this time uh, 
Okay. Mulwadi populist. That... It was to be expected. Speaking of which, why are you not doing your job, lady? I mean, Bori is pr spreading decently well, but not super good either. Let's get Fez finally on the on the right side of things. Okay, and that's all she wrote for today. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, see you around next time. Until then, bye bye.